hello guys so in this video i am going to solve another essential problem in this problem if you will see the description of that problem they clearly see that uh, write a program that can determine whether the character in the first string that name is x can be rearranged to form the second string y uh, if it is possible then we need to print yes otherwise we need to print no you can see also in example if you will see we have two string as input first is zbk and another one is zkb when we will rearrange this first string we can form the second string so in this case we have to print yes if you will see another example the another example is that first string is metal another string is coding so we cannot form second string by arranging the first string so in this case the output is no so we have to solve right uh, this problem so for solving this problem uh, what approach I will follow is that uh, uh, first I will sort this two string right so we know that uh, right uh, whenever we will sort this two string if uh, this uh, uh, first string has character right uh, so same number of character if that uh, string two contain then it means that this two string will be equals after sorting so suppose if you will see we have first string zbk and when we will sort this string our string will be b k z right this will be our string and when we will sort this uh, second string this second string will also be right uh, b k z because we know that b is a smaller that's why b is coming at first then after k then after in last z so when we will sort this two string we will get this same string so in last we will compare when this two will be same we can say that we can arrange second string by uh, right uh, rearranging the first string so in this case we have to print yes so for solving this problem we have also to check one thing right we don't need to forget to that one so first thing is that we need to check length of that two string if the length of this two string will vary vary it means clearly that this two string will not never be right uh, form as another so as example if you will see here uh, if you will see here in this second example we have metal and coding so uh, these two string have different different size so we cannot form second string by rearranging first string so in this case directly we can say that this is right uh, no so for solving this problem we will use same approach like right? same this approach first we will re uh, what we will do first we will sort this two string then after sorting we will compare this two string is same or not so let's solve this problem so for solving this problem we have right this two string i as i have already taken this two string in x and y variable and we have created one string solutions method that solution method is taking this two argument x and y and this function solution function is going to return yes or no so as you can see that the return type of this function is a string so let's solve this problem so for solve first before solving what we have to do is that we have to find the length of this two string and if the length of this two string will be very we can directly say that this two cannot be right formed to each other so first we will check if x dot length is not equals to y dot length so in this case we can see that uh, we have to return no right it's clear as uh, in question they have also declared that in else case if this both two string have right same size same length then what we need to do is that we need to uh if you will see what we need to do is that suppose our string is right as example what we have like let's see our string is z b k our first string is uh, z b k and second string is b k z b k z so in this case we know that both string have same right length so it will go in else condition then in this else condition what we need to do is that first we need to uh, write sort this two string we need to sort this two string so we know already that uh, in uh, right java we cannot sort a string 
right so for sorting any string what we will uh, we can use that we can convert this string into array of character and directly we have one method arrays dot sort that method will sort this uh, that array of character so let's first convert this string into array of character so this will be right uh, z b k it will be right uh, this will be array area of character zbk another area of character will be second will be uh, right bkz bkz and when we will sort this two string right this two area of care so it will be right b k z and this two this will be also b k z right bkz it will be right bkz so what we need to do is that uh, then after we will compare this uh, this two string right this two area of character is sa same right having same character or not so for solving this one we can use approach that we can start one loop from zero to last and we will try to compare each and every character of this string suppose we will take this first character of this string and we will take this first character of this one again we will take this second character of this array and we will take this second character of array and we will compare so first we can use this approach or otherwise what we will do we will simply convert this array of character into a string so it will be bk z and again also we will convert this into another string so it will be also bk z and we know that in a string we have one method that that method is dot equals that method will compare this two string is same or not so in one line we can compare without using loop so we will use same approach so let's run this program so first what we have to done we have to do make this two string as a area of character then we will sort so let's solve this problem so here we have two string as x and y and we have to sort this string by converting this into area of character so here we will create care uh, x x and we will make this uh, a string x a string as area of character by using uh, two care array this function will convert this x into array area of care and it will be replaced by this x so we have to use same with y y we have named that area of character as y y y so we will use y dot to care array this will also convert this y string into array of character right and that array of character will name as y y so now after that what we have to do we have to sort this two array so let's sort this two array so for sorting this array we can use arrays dot sort method so it will take x x array to sort and another is arrays dot sort it will take yy so it will what this method is doing that this method is taking one array and that uh, that method is going to sort that array so here after ending this one we have right sorted this two array so let's verify that this two array is sorted or not so by printing this right so for after sorting this what we can do is that we have to convert this array of character into right after sorting we have to if you will see after sorting what we have done we have make this area of character into a string so we have one method a string dot right we have one method suppose we will create a string s1 sorry x1 and we can use a string dot value of dot value of this will take array and this will convert that array into a string so here using this line we can convert this area of character into a string so we will use the same with second array that will be yy so after using this one we have what we have done we have first sort our a right we have first create uh, area of character by this same string and then after we have sort that a string that area of character then we have converted that area of character into a string so let's verify that uh, this area of uh, this string is sorted or not so by printing this one we can verify system.out.print and we will print x1 sorry x1 and y1 so uh, before after printing we can verify that is sorted or not so let's run this program you can see that after this 
these two are going to sorted so this zbx and bkz these two are sorted after sorted this two will be bkz bkz as we have also here discussed this will be bkz and bkz now we have right uh, this string we have a string as x1 and y1 so easily we can uh, uh, check right these two are equals or not if these two are equals it means that we can create second string by uh, right uh, changing the order of first character of first string so here we have one method right uh, that method is that if uh, x1 dot equals one equals y1 then we can say that these two are same so here in this case we have to return yes and else case we will we can find that uh, these two will not be same so here we will return return no as our question required so here we have used return statement in if and else so we don't need to write here any return statement so after this we can run this program and we can check that our program is right or not so let's run this program so you can see that in this case we have right uh, we can form right a string as yes so you can see that in example if you will see z b k and z k b so sorry z b k sorry so another string is z k b sorry z k b another string so let's run this program you can see that it is also printing yes so using this uh, method we can uh, use this one so for solving this one we can do one thing we don't need to create another string by here we can simply we know that we have this one array of character this is inserted we can use here because if you see this x1 is nothing but s s1 is this so we can replace this x1 by this so that we don't need to create new string so here and by y1 instead of y1 we can use this one because we know that y1 is nothing but y1 is this one so here we will replace and we don't need to create another two string so let's run this program this will also be reflect as same output so you can see that so next what we have to do let's try with another example so if we will try with another example that is metal and coding when we will run this program it will write first here check this length of this two string will not be same that is directly will print no so let's run this program you can see that it's printing no suppose we have right suppose we have a b c and suppose we have c b a so we can easily form this y by right replacing order of this x1 so it will print yes so you can see that okay sorry c b a c b a sorry a b c it's why it's printing no okay because we are using <laughs> sending this one so here so let's run this program so you can see that it's printing yes because uh, a b c and c b a uh, right we can form cba by replacing the order of this abc suppose we have d b instead of d so d is not available in this here so it will return no so let's run this program and print it will return no so this is the program you can pause this video and you can note down this program as well so let's thank you for so much for being here we will come with in new videos new programs thank you